What's up, cinema lovers, and welcome to another episode of Two Eye Cinema. I am your host, Sharim, and here on Two Eye Cinema, you know I like to give my opinion on some of the most popular pieces of cinema in the world. Today's episode is going to be a run through and review of Rick and Morty Season 2, Episode 4 Total Recall. Now let's get into it. On that note, don't forget to check out our merch options provided by KLB Supply at klbsupply.com. Follow Too High Cinema and KLB Supply on Twitter and Instagram at Too High Cinema at Too High Club and KLB Supply. Now let's get back into it. At dinner in the Smith family, Jerry's brother, Uncle Steve, gets him plane tickets as thanks for letting him stay with them for the past year. Rick arrives and shoots Steve, whose form as a parasite is exposed as he dies. Rick says that it is a creature from a species that multiplies by implanting false memories in people's heads. Rick says that there should only be six people in the household. Himself, Morty, Summer, Beth, Jerry, and Mr. Poopy Butthole. Rick seals the house from intruders with a blast shield as Mr. Poopy Butthole reminds the family of a memory with Cousin Mickey, who then appears in the room. Rick shoots him after looking at a sign he made of the six true family members. However, the family continues to have collective flashbacks to false memories with new characters, all parasites, who arrive in the room. One such parasite, Sleepy Gary, who the family believe is Beth's husband, talks to Jerry about a memory of the two of them kissing. The sitting room is now filled with parasites, along with the Smith family. They try to convince Rick to lower the house's defenses before beginning to persuade the others that Rick is a parasite. Several of them attack Rick and steal his watch in order to lower the house's blast shield. Morty takes Rick to the garage and is about to shoot him. Convinced that he is a parasite when he realizes how to tell parasites apart from genuine family members. All of the implanted memories are happy, but Morty has many unpleasant memories with Rick. Using this method of deduction, Rick and Morty slowly take out parasites one by one in the living room. Negative memories involving Summer and Beth prove their honesty. Beth kills Sleepy Gary which leaves Jerry suicidal, but Beth realizes he is real. With the last parasites eliminated, the six original household members sit down for dinner. Beth suspicious that she has no negative memories of Mr. Poopy Butthole, shoots him. However, he is real and severely injured by the shot. In a post credit scene, the Smith family watch Mr. Poopy Butthole in physical therapy. He tells a nurse to pass the message on to Beth that he is sorry she had no negative memories of him. So now the review. So this is gonna be a short one too, cause yo, they, this was just funny. Like throughout the whole episode, like I couldn't really, <laughs> I couldn't really like say anything bad about it like I liked it and it was so like contained like it was just it was in the house throughout the whole thing and everything else was just memories yo that was dope like first first like Uncle Steve uh Mr. Poopy Butthole <laughs> Sleepy Gary is Beth's husband and Jerry's lover love it hilarious uh we agree never in the house <laughs> yo that was that was joy that gave me so much joy. Pencil Vesta. Tinkles the Magic Ballerina Lamb. Yo, even uh, Tinkles' song was perfect. Like, <laughs> Mr. Beauregard, the family butler, went to prom with Morty. Photography Raptor. Like, what the hell? Like, they, they just kept adding characters. Yo, limited edition. Yo, limited edition Zelda 3DS Hustle Rick. Yo, I was loving that. Yo. That sounded like me in the freaking 90s, like, yo, that ass. Like, anytime something limited edition came out, yo, I was purchasing that shit, trying to flip it. Yo, that was me. Yo, I got it. <laughs> yo, the, yo, the montage of bad memories from Rick and Morty was just laugh after laugh. Like, just, it's, yo, I couldn't help myself but to laugh at every single one. It was just hilarious. Parasite Massacre was so entertaining. Just seeing them do all of that, yo, it was just beautiful. Uh, Jerry left Beth with a homeless man <laughs> that tried to kill them. Yo, <laughs> I love that. That was just, that has to be, yo, that has to be like one of my top scenes right now from Jerry. Like that has to be like one of my top Jerry scenes of like flashbacks of Jerry just doing Jerry shit. That had to be my favorite one so far. And then Beth shoots Mr. Poopy Bow. And Hulk, I don't know if anybody else saw that shit, but Hulk the Musical t-shirts they was wearing in the elevator. Yo, Hulk the Musical. 
Get it done, Marvel. Get it done. But this was a great episode. And not a great it. <laughs> so now for comedy, I'm going to give it dank. Drama, dank. Action, dank. Horror, dank. Thank you again, Cinema Lovers, for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and place the notification bell on all if you want to see more content from us. Comment below to suggest any content. Follow us at KLB Supply, at Too High Cinema, and at Too High Club on all social media platforms for updates. And for now, smoke you later.